her job well, and I taste freedom for the first time in an aeon. Do you not now fear me? For you have served your purpose well, holy man. And for this, should I exercise mercy as a god to mine? Now, that'd be nice, but I'm not holding me breath. Yes, I shall spare. And secure for you a fate worse than death. For when you pass beyond this world, heaven shall no longer welcome you. For you have released a demon. My faith will protect me from feckless lesser demons as yourself. shall snuff out her life as a candle. The book from the library. You've done well, girl. And before you ask, I'll tell you. The book you've got, I myself was looking for it. But as I couldn't find it, assumed you had it. <laughs> and lucky you did. But how? If you name a demon, you have power over him. And you named him. <laughs> it's your shout, Lara. For this you shall burn for eternity! I shall drown you in a mire of your own entrails before I squeeze! Be quiet! What do you reckon we get out of this godforsaken place and go and get a nice cup of tea with Winston? Almost forgot. 
Would you be wanting to wave goodbye to our little friend? <laughs> Back to where you belong. I'm in. Okay, now let's see what you can do. Follow the vent to the main corridor. You come in at the 13th floor. Unlucky for some. Unlucky for them. Any welcome party? That's your job, girl. I ain't no X-ray vision superhero. I'd noticed the last bit. Ooh, you are so sharp you're gonna cut yourself. Just remember, the less attention, the better. You dig? Thanks. But that thought had crossed my mind. Just making sure you're on the ball, lady. Enough talk. Contact me if you see anything. Whew. That girl has got one bad attitude.